So on the left target, we have Laura Hughes from USA. And on the right, we have... Natalia. Should be a good match. Again, she's from the home country of Italy. So again, they'll start on target one is the target shooting across the hill at 35 meters. Now, as the sun starts rotating around the field, what kind of challenges can we expect our archers to face? It, it really, the compound, I think, is where it really plays the biggest factor with the scope and the magnification. You can get some weird reflection off, off the lens. Um, but we'll see with the bare bow archers if, if that causes, the shadows causes any distortions with their eyes. Looks like we have a three, and I don't see an arrow for Laura. Looks like a miss. She hit the top, top of the target. Looks like Natalia corrected and shot a five, and Laura shot a four. That is very tough to do when you, you have an arrow like that. And, and to come back and shoot a very solid score is, is quite good. So both archers making slight adjustments and improving on their second arrow. And Natalia, low three on that final arrow. And a one for Laura. So tentatively, score of 11 to five, a six point lead after target number one for Italy. Now on these first targets, when you're in, you're in a gold medal match like this, what kind of nerves can you expect to feel here? It really depends on the archers, but there's there's a lot of archers who walk out and that first target, their heart's pumping, um, starting to shake. And so it's really calming, calming the mind, calming the body and, and getting into a groove. You'll see as they proceed through the course, a lot of archers will start to relax and, and feel like, okay, I'm just in the backyard shooting. Mm -hmm. But that, that first target, that first arrow, there's a lot of nerves running through. So now they move to target number two. We hear the crowd very loud, cheering for Laura. <laughs> All smiles. Not sure where the home, home crowd Italians are right now. It's a little quiet on side for Natalia. I think they, they had a, a t Italy ch chant going so oh, on their feet. See, it's a little chilly even though the sun's out. Everyone's bundled up this morning. Now you see the, the bare bow shooters kind of slide their tab up and down. What exactly are they doing there? So because they can't have a sight, they do what's called string walking, and they are actually counting the servings on their, uh, on their string, and that's what they use to place their hands, and that's their form of aiming for the different distances. The other thing to note is just the in individuality of every archer. They each have their own anchor. Um, you know, it's not as textbook as you would see with Olympic recurve. Um, there's a lot of variety in where they're anchoring and, and how they're getting their string crawl. So this is again a 20 meter uphill shot. Really showing the angle quite well there. And this is where having shot the course before Looks she's like going to have low four. Nice follow through, very nice placement. Five and a four. <laughs> so Italy has one arrow left and USA has two arrows to go. Looks like, ooh, she had a left one. So my guess oh, is- Oh, stacking right on top. That is a fantastic shot there. That's a pretty big sign that she probably canted her bow on that arrow, throwing it off into the left scoring rings. And, and just right here, you can you can just watch those score gaps disappear. Just strong, consistent shots will get it done. Looks like a two. So 
She definitely picked up some points. I know she would have liked a little bit better third arrow, but she's smiling, she's happy, and that's her brother. You there in, They're in the coach's box with her. So we are down to a three-point difference. Yeah, it must be a really cool experience just being able to go through this course and, and enjoy it. Um, although I'm sure while you're doing it, it's not nearly as enjoyable. But afterward, I, I haven't seen a single archer come off, but you know, nothing was promised. Well, now we hear the Italians starting to chant. They're getting, getting louder. So again, we're heading to the bunny target. They'll be shooting at 10 meters on a 20 centimeter base. And this is a target that can really make or break a round. A 10 meter birdie is not an, an easy target. <laughs> Back and forth between the crowd there. <laughs> So what was six is now three, heading to this next target. So we're halfway through the match, two targets to go. In the background you can hear Rod Benzer there, actual world champion at this very event. You see she gets a quick shot off first. Maybe a three? 2-3 liner there on the left side. That's a one high for Laura. So Italy has gained back a point here. That looks like a little bit more like solid. Three. So again, let's see if Laura can adjust on the second arrow. Solid three for Natalia. Yep, there's a two. And a two for Laura. So she's still high. So she needs a five here to tie and maintain that three point difference. <laughs> now, what kind of uh, strategies can you implement here as you, you notice where your arrows are trending? So each archer has their own system. Some people choose. So that's a four. So a one point advantage to Italy on this target, extending her lead to four points. So every archer is a little different. You see compound and recurve, some are gonna move their sight. Uh, Barebow, you're gonna see some of them count another thread or change where their hands placed and other archers are gonna aim a little differently on the target. So it's, it's personal preference, everyone has their method, but the key is to adjust after you shoot those first arrows. Unlike team round, where you're only shooting one arrow at each target, you have an opportunity to correct for mistakes on the first arrow with your second and third. So we see the judges here taking a look at those arrows. They're going to pull out the magnifying glass on that second arrow. So we could have potential for an extra point here for Italy. Taking their time to get a nice close look. And it looks like it stays a four point difference. So the arrow was not upgraded on that middle target. So a four point deficit heading into this next one where the highest bear war score has been around a two. So there's plenty of opportunity here to, to close up that gap or take a lead. So again, this I think is where Natalia has a huge advantage. She shot this yesterday. I, I'm not sure if she was one of the people to hit the target or not, but I'm sure she is gonna make an adjustment if she didn't off of what she did yesterday. So we will find out where these first arrows land and how they're able to compensate. And the one thing you notice, like regardless of team is, you know, archers helping archers. And Natalia draws back first. Well, low and left, left. Dong, solid shots. Lower. Just being confident. <laughs> it looked like that went right over the target to the right. A little bit low, it looked like. Up, and oh, that's and just the left. That was also a miss. So right. really anyone's game at this point, getting points here is, is truly challenging. And it just shows how well Sarah shot in this last round, you know, yeah. scoring all three arrows. Yeah. So we have three arrows, three misses. Can somebody hit a scoring ring here? Let's see. 
Oh, oh yes. there's a one. We've got yeah. score. So she has officially closed the gap. It's now a three point. Oh, oh two. So two. current current lead. So she needs to a five to tie six. and a six to win. So man, it's a pretty pretty uphill battle for Laura at this point. That would be pretty tough, but imagine we'll the story see. though, shooting a six on that target to win a gold All medal. All she needs in the is World a five Cup. for a tie though. See if she can hit yellow. Oh, oh and it's a four. Oh, One that's point. so close. But she is now the highest barebow scorer of this entire round. You know, that's, that's, that is a challenging target. The barebow world champion is Natalia from Italy. Yeah, really some fantastic huge, shooting here. Huge Her team came so close last night um, in, in Sweden. Unfortunately, just got the win. But congratulations to both ladies. Both managed to put scoring arrows on that final target. So next up will be the bronze men's junior bare bow match. 